Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these amazing ice cream sandwiches. Now they're not just any ice cream sandwiches, these ice cream sandwiches are raw, they're vegan and they're super healthy for you. I had one for breakfast the other day. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients so we can get started. So over here we've got some cocoa, we've got some dried dates, bananas, which is gonna make our ice cream. We've got some almond meal. Now you can use any kind of nuts, just crush them up as finely as you can. I've got some frozen banana here, but I'm gonna to get to that in a bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're going to slice up your bananas. So just slice them up. It doesn't matter, they can be as rough as you like. Put them in the freezer for a couple hours and this is what you're gonna be left with, frozen bananas. Now, what you're gonna need for this recipe is a food processor. So we're just gonna pop our bananas in the food processor. Now you want to blitz this until it's nice and smooth and you're going to be amazed at how awesome the texture of this is once you blitz it up. It's just like real ice cream. It melts like real ice cream and it's amazing. So what you want to do is you want to just stop, scrape down, make sure we're getting all those bananas. Now look at that, it looks brilliant, it looks awesome, it looks just like real ice cream and it's made out of just frozen bananas. So what we're gonna do is, I've got myself a little pan here and we're going to put our banana in there. Now I've just put a little bit of baking paper in there just so that it's easy to take out. I just wanna spread this down, just flatten it as neatly as you can. You want to work quickly because it's already starting to melt, but it doesn't help that I'm outdoors. Okay, so we're going to pop this back in the freezer for one or two hours. Okay, so next up to make the brownie biscuits, what we're going to use are three ingredients, our almond meal, cocoa and dried dates. Now I love the chewiness and the caramel taste of the date and it makes it perfect for these brownie bites. They're nice and soft, just like a real ice cream sandwich biscuit. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to put our dates in the food processor. We want to start it off on slow so that we don't break the machine. We want to put it up to high, slowly, slowly, and we want to get it to a nice smooth pace. Okay, so it's gone into kind of like a ball state. So at this stage, we want to add our almond meal. Start it off on slow again, because you don't want almond meal going everywhere. And eventually those two are going to mix in. Make sure that they're mixed in well, and then we're going to add our cocoa in. Now let that mix in properly. Make sure it's really mixed in, and make sure that you scrape down the sides because some of that stuff isn't going to be put in properly. And then you're ready to make your biscuits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully pour our crummy mixture onto a chopping board. And we want to just kind of bunch it together get everything to smush together just like that now you want to just kind of flatten it using the palm of your hand just to a nice even size I'd probably say about half a centimeter in thickness now I've just got a little cookie cutter here you can use any shape that you like you can even just put it into a pan and uh, and just cut it up into squares if you like but I'm gonna be a little bit fancy and use a cookie cutter so I'm just going to cut out my shapes, give it a bit of a wiggle and pop it onto a baking tray. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'm going to show you how to do the final steps and put your cookies together. Okay guys, this is the exciting part because you get to put all of this deliciousness together. So we've got our cookies and now I've got my frozen banana and using your cookie cutter, you want to cut out your shapes. Now once you've got them like this, what you want to do is you want to wrap them up in Glad Wrap, pop them back in the freezer, and then you're done and you're ready to eat deliciousness. These taste amazing and they look just like the real thing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe. 
hit the like button, subscribe, share with your family and friends. All my social media links are down below. You're going to find the recipe on thescranline.com and I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scranline.